From April, parents who lose a child will be entitled to at least two weeks off work. Many companies already offer more than that, but until now, the statutory minimum has just been three days. Jack's Law is what it's going to be called. It's going to give parents the longest legal entitlement in the world. It's named after Jack Hurd. Now, Jack died when he was nearly two years old. And his mum, Lucy, has been campaigning for reform since 2010. She joins us now alongside Kate McCarthy, who's a business owner who champions compassion in the workplace. Good morning. Uh, very good morning. Good morning. Lucy, uh, first of all, uh, I mean, this must mean a lot to you, obviously, given your loss. It's bittersweet, really. Um, it's, it's unbelievable. I, I think I was more shocked that they decided to call it Jack's Law. Um, that really sort of uh, was the icing on the cake. Who league. told you? Andrea Leedsom in the corridor and I just cried. In the corridor of the Commons? No, in the corridor. We were at um, an event a, couple, uh, a day or so ago. I can't remember what days I'm on now, uh -huh. actually. And um, no, she told me and she said, how would I feel about it? And cried, she cried, everybody else cried because um, I, was, I was not expecting it whatsoever. Tell us a little bit about Jack. He was magical. Um, I love talking about Jack. My eyes apparently light up they when do. I talk about they Jack. And you, <laughs> smile, you smile really widely <laughs> as well, uh, as you should. <laughs> Um, he was that little boy that you'd see going up and down the shopping aisles going hello, hello, hello until someone said hello to him. Um, he blew kisses to the world so it didn't matter where we were. It's almost as though he sensed if people were feeling sad or something and he'd just blow them a kiss. Um, to, some, to a homeless man that was on the street, it didn't matter where it was. He just, yeah, he had a lot of love, a lot of energy and a lot of happiness. I said he was a, he sorely missed and I miss him every day. Of course. But, <clears throat> it's lovely to hear you talk that way uh, about such a tragic event. T help us with a little bit of that time after your loss, because this is what this story is about, is about giving people a bit more time. And on the face of it, some people will say, what, two weeks? I mean, yeah. it, that, it, you know, uh, in some ways it's a ridiculous idea to put a time frame on how much time you need to recover. What, what, what was your experience? Well, grief just doesn't end just like that it, it goes on for many many years and at the time nearly 10 years ago uh, when I discovered that there was no law to say that employers had to give you time off I was shocked so I spoke to friends and family to find out what whether they had bereavement policies within their workplace and everybody came back they either didn't have a bereavement policy or their bereavement policy said that they could have three days off but there was actually no law so if an employer turned around to you and said you couldn't have time off then there wasn't a law in the land to protect you. So you went from someone who worked every day and was a grieving parent to a campaigner? Well, I'd worked in IT before um, Jack was born and I actually wasn't working at that, at that point. Um, and I'd never been a campaigner in my life. So I remember having a conversation with my MP and I said, I want to create legislation. And I think he looked at me and thought, OK. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I said, how do I do it? And he said, well, you need to create a petition and I'm thinking okay we can do this but in those sort of nearly 10 years ago the only petitions available were on the government website for um, legislation so you didn't have things like change.org or anything like that so I remember creating this petition and thinking okay how am I going to get this message out and I've sort of a hundred people on social media um, and that was it it's sort of just catalyst from there and Kate obviously what's resulted now is Jack's law which as Charlie said many people you, you can't put a time on grief but you no. can I suppose put the onus on employers to be far more compassionate and considerate Absolutely. and care for their workforce and I was actually quite surprised when we started talking about it that it wasn't you know already there so actually as an employer for me it, it was a given you know, you, you look after employees when they're having a difficult time. And actually, um, you know, for me, losing a child's got to be the worst. You know, it's, it's everyone's nightmare. Um, and, you know, but whether it's a child or, or a parent or a grandparent, for some people, grief is all consuming. Um, and that's at the time where you really need to step up as a, as a business leader and look after, look after your people. So what have you had to do in terms of being a, a business owner in terms of support for people who work with or for you? For me, um, whatever somebody's going through, so that could be miscarriage, that could be um, stillborn, um, you know, that could be premature baby that we've had just last year. Um, and that's doing whatever that individual needs you to do. And sometimes it's about stepping up and taking um, 
taking the lead in that as well because actually when someone is going through a difficult time in their life they can't necessarily think about what they need and um, they don't necessarily know and financially that is the last thing people are thinking about and it's only actually when they suddenly think about paying the bills at the same time as coping with something horrific that then they realize that actually I'm not going to get paid and no one needs that added stress you know for me um, it's also not about immediately it's about support afterwards you know whether that's paying for counseling and therapy whether that's having availability um, I was talking to Lucy before the cards Lucy does which is you put a card on your desk say I'm really struggling right now I'm going to take some time away um, I read about it last night I was Sorry, like, can you just explain that go on. How, um, how's that work so there's it's actually my daughter so there was nothing worse than being in school and trying to explain why you needed to leave the room because grief can just hit you like a, a tsunami really um, so I developed a, a just a moment card because sometimes we just need to take a moment so I'm hoping that employers might like to have so these, the idea yeah. is what? So you, you, you just you, put a card on your desk, and then you and then you go. I'm, I'm out, yeah, but you don't yeah. want to. You yeah, literally yeah, don't want to yeah. say it yeah, out yeah. loud. So, uh, human resources would have given you this card, and then you can just leave it on your desk, and then your colleagues know that the reason you've you've gone off to the toilet or you've had to take uh, a few minutes for space, um, it just gives you that that sort of element of. Uh, you've of you've next. obviously you've had those moments where you've yeah. been in one place doing one thing, and then. Well, it changes yeah, in a second. Exactly, it does. It just comes, you, grief hits you when you least expect it. Um, I said you could be standing in the middle of a shopping centre, you could be standing, like you say, sitting at work, you could be sat doing something, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you have this overwhelming sense of sadness. Carolyn um, Harris, the MP, <coughs> um, was talking to us earlier on the programme, about an hour ago, and she was talking about how people react to people who are grieving. Mm. And I suppose that's the, that's the, the flip side of it. You know, what, this is yeah. about educating employers, yeah. putting the onus on them to be compassionate. But it's also trying to, I don't know, help people who are awkward around people who are grieving, who don't know what to say. Do you gush or do you act as if nothing's happened it's because you think they want to be bit. normal? It's you education know? within the workplace when somebody's going through something as well. Mm. So um, actually, um, and actually those cards are great, but it would also be educating that how does that yeah. person want you to react when they do that? Because actually they may want space, I suppose, Absolutely. to somebody rushing after them. And it needs to be them led. Uh, yeah, yeah, and it's very individual. You know, I think grief, no, no one can say, well, you know, I, I went through this and this is how I felt or this happened to me. It's, it's very much how that individual wants. And I think it's about sitting down, having availability, talking to them um, and renewing that. You know, that one-to-one -one that should be standard really in businesses where you, you've got somebody you can go to. Mm. Might not be your line manager either. You know, um, mental health first aid is something that is, is starting to be introduced in, in businesses. And it's really I tell critical. you what, Lizzie, I mean, it's worth coming back to where we started. Jack's Law exists now. I, know. I mean, you, do you every know, every, you, you must, every that. time you think that, it must, that must, it, it exists. So many doors were shut on me on this journey. So many people turned around to me and said, it'll never happen, it'll never happen. And every door I kept knocking, it has to happen. It has to happen. And I think the determination that I had within me um, and almost feeling like Jack was walking alongside this journey with me. Come on, Mum, keep going, keep going. And... I, all I wanted was to create a positive, and I had to create something positive in his memory. So Jack's, this is Jack's legacy. Um, and the thing is, I couldn't have done this alone. This was with everybody, everyone that signed the petition, everybody that I spoke to, all those people that turned around, media, you know, sharing my story with the world. Um, and actually, it's a team effort. This is all Team Jack. There are going to be many people who are very pleased you kicked those doors down. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Good to see you here this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Really good. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. The time now is 20 minutes past eight. I um, should just say, look, if you have been affected by any of the issues we've been talking about here on the sofa, you can find a list of charities who, which can help. That's on the BBC Action Line website, bbc.co.uk forward slash action line. I tell you, Lucy's sitting here pulling faces like, did I do OK? <laughs> You I did okay. Really, you I know. Because I never brilliantly. know what I'm saying. <laughs> you, did. you did okay. Jack's Law, you've done brilliantly. Trust yeah. us. Amazing. Absolutely amazing.